slides. So today we are going to be talking about how you can easier make a bio link for sites like this one, for example. So if you don't know what is a bio link, the bio link is a website that gives you uh, like a tool that you can disable all of your on Reddit in the same page so you can share just one link content all your links not like uh, you don't need like to share all your link description for example if you share things on social media like uh, YouTube so it will be perfect way and more saving your time for you. So a bio link is a website uh, that you can also link a link by uh, installing a subscription or even edit the uh, ads advertisement from the ads uh, ads list and you can start the money. So let's get started. But before we go and get started let me remember you our website to the bottom so I said if you don't know, Turinia is a website that offers you more tools that you need them, like uh, article rewriter and more other tools helping you a lot. You can find these two other websites by uh, paying a subscription or something like that. But in Turin, but it's like that you can find all these tools for free. So let's get started. First of all, you need to have uh, a hosting provider like Hostinger for example and also you need to have a domain name so in my case I'm going to use Hostinger as a host provider and also I'm going to use a sub domain name I'm not going to use the domain name because I have other website I'm starting anyway so let me start with this tool after you go to your host provider the script because the website that we are going to create today is PHP script. So if you are going to use the domain name, you can simply choose the domain name from the website right here and select it and it's going to redirect you to the dashboard like this and you have to create it. Uh, database and also that's it and also you need to upload your file zip file for the script so let's get started let's go to file manager after you click on file manager you have to uh, upload the zip, the zip uh, folder here zip file but in my case I'm not using the main name as I told you. So in this case you have to go to the names and so name and you can create something if you want. So when you create soccer name you going the soccer name is going to create a folder inside the my name inside the domain this one. So you're going to find this folder inside by manager. So our page come on, so after we access the our domain, we have to say that we find public HTML. So inside public HTML, if you are using the domain name, you can upload your zip file here by upload, you can upload, and you go to file, then you upload the part the zip file. If you are using the subdomain, as I told you, uh, I told you if you can stop the name here and create your stop the name is going to create by default for you a folder like this one. So keep in mind that if you go and create a stop domain, like for example, the domain name is going to be right here and the name that you go to you give it to your stop the name like if you I did it yes dot right? So here you give it a name and this name that you give it to your token right here uh, is going to be the name of the folder. So this 
thing you can see that it's going to be the main folder. So this is how you are going to see now the main folder to use it from the next item screen or from the next screen. Now I have the test folder, this is from the main folder. So when you click on it, that's the key you are using. So when you click on it, so when you click on it, that's the key you are using from the main folder. Do right. Okay, so after you upload the file, you have to click on it and you have to subscribe to the file. So you can open the file inside the folder. So you go to the subscribe and click on it and you give it any name. It doesn't matter you can give it any name and you want to subscribe. So after he's going to extract it, you have to access the folder and inside the folder you're going to find it, all these files right here so you have to click all these files and right click and you have to go to files on the file and you show the top one is without the name After that, it's going to be fired. Yeah, okay, right, so we are in. So now we are ready to go, but before we go, and we open the link and start to install the script, we have to create the database. So we go to database, go back to database, and go to my scale database. On it. And here we have to create a database. So let me create one. Okay, so now we created a database and we can upload and extract our zip file. So now we are ready to go. So all we have to do, we have to go to our domain and we open the domain. As I'm, I'm using subdomain, I go to domain, subdomain, and I get my subdomain and I copy and paste it in your tab. Okay, so if you if that happened to you, that means is uh, the domain name slash install and we can enter. Right, so if escape it will be disabled right here. So all you have to do now is click on start installation, click on it and it's going to check the requirements of your PHP if they have a problem, you're going to have the next button and click on next. Also, so right here, all you have to do is have to go to the local host as it is, and here we have to give it the database name. So we go back to our dashboard right here and go to database and we open my real database. Go back and pass it right here. The same name we are going to pass it to the name. And we go to the password and we have to give it the password that we create. Okay, so after you edit your license key on the top, you go and click on the installation. After you click on the installation, you're going to 
second and translation has been successfully installed. So now you can go to your URL open your uh, website. So if you go here, you can see our website is successfully installed and disabled. Right, so everything is here, and that's it. The bio link, so you can change your logo on the menu, the, the menu, the and you can go to check your uh, dashboard and go to check your uh, dashboard. So if you go to the website setting, you're going to find everything. Right? So you can do all this searching. So I like uh, announcement. Yeah, that 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 we do like uh, like advertisement, personal advertisement. So if you go to ads on it, that was a problem. So as you see here, we have the header, the Google, violent page, header, violent page feature. That's amazing. So here you can edit the script from Google Ads. Inside the, the header, the feature, and all these uh, these spaces right here, and you can click on update and the ads. It will be disabled inside your website, so you can earn in money by selling plan or uh, by advertisement. So that will be great. So you can edit offline payment. You can edit uh, Stripe if you have a Stripe account. You can edit PayPal to accept in money on it. You want accepting money on PayPal, you can edit uh, login by using Twitter, Google, Facebook. So you have too many uh, uh, options right here. You can uh, change them and you can do whatever you want. So this is for today. I hope this is you have both. And this is how you can make your one by your link website and start making money from. So see you in the next video, guys. Have a nice day.